No, it goes. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I mean, over the top beautiful day here in the end times on this just unbelievably beautiful. It is a Saturday afternoon here in paradise. It is 77 degrees. 77 degrees at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, July 30th, 2022. Almost August. It is 77 degrees. Good Lord, I was ready to put on the heater this morning. So uh, the little dog and I, we are uh, taking a break from, I have been shoveling out. Uh, so what I'm doing, you know, since we're in the middle of a drought and uh, my bog garden uh, has completely disappeared, I'm taking advantage of having no water in my bog garden so I can shovel out all of the silt that was dumped into the bog garden by the five flash floods we had last year. So there you go. Uh, you know, I built the bog garden two summers ago during a drought year to have it fill up with mud during the uh, floods of 21. And now that we're back to the great drought of 22, looking just like the great drought of, night, uh, of 2020, I can at least shovel out this beautiful silt uh, that washed in. Good, this stuff is gorgeous. So I'm shoveling it out and figuring out what to do with this gorgeous uh, silt from the floods. Uh, but while I'm thinking about all that, I have to head back to Lowe's. Oh, good Lord, to get a bucket of 1,000 screws. Uh, figuring it's going to take about 800 screws to uh, screw down the roof deck. And then, of course, once we get the deck on the roof of the tiny house, then I have to go find the roofing, and the metal roofing to put over the decking. Good Lord, but it is coming along, so uh, just having money continue to hemorrhage out of uh, my pocket while I, like most of Americans, try to figure out, are we or are we not in a recession. Uh, some people are openly claiming we are in a recession while of course uh, Joe Biden is uh, claiming we're not in a recession. I'm just looking at my receipts here this week at uh, Airbnb and Hip Camp uh, on this unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous weekend where it has now dropped to 75 degrees at four o'clock in the afternoon on uh, in, in July uh, not one not one person here uh, at bugs in a jar farm this weekend on this uh, on this gorgeous weekend the tiny house this is the first Saturday night that the tiny house has not been rented since I, you know, since we reopened on Memorial Day weekend. It has been rented every single Saturday night until this spectacularly gorgeous weekend. Uh, not one of the four campsites rented it as far as I can see. As far as I can see uh, into the future till we shut down on November 1st, uh, we do not have one single reservation uh, for one spot at Bugs in a Jar Farm on Airbnb or Hip Camp. Nothing on the horizon. Uh, as far as I can see into the future as I continue to hemorrhage money out, uh, you know, spending money to build more uh, Airbnb and hip camp rentals, 
uh, <laughs> you know, every obviously every single penny uh, that I have ever made at Airbnb and Hip Camp combined, uh, every single penny uh, has been turned back into the business, hopefully to make more of an income stream. So I am just, you know, blowing. Uh, you know, the money I made from the sale of my place in Florida uh, and just burning the, through this money uh, while I still can, uh, you know, so I can set up an income stream uh, in the future. And I do want to thank, thank Lulu again one more time for putting that bullet through her head and buying me this tiny house. Uh, which is pretty much what she did. Uh, Lulu bought me this tiny house and I do want to say thank you. You did not die in vain, darling. I will love my new tiny house. Maybe we will name it Lulu's Place. What do you think, guys? Anyway, so uh, just thinking for what it's worth at this point about money and I uh, haven't heard as anyone won that what is it the one billion dollar lottery jackpot this week what one billion dollars good god almighty so uh i haven't even heard if there's been a winner announced to that uh, obviously i did not buy a lottery ticket so uh i hear the chances are 372 million to one so uh, I saved my dollar bill and but I was reading one of these stories I mean it really was funny in a sick twisted sort of way you, you know you've heard this bullshit how many times have you heard this bullshit where these you, you know where these clueless morons uh, who win this big fucking pile of money uh, in the lottery uh, end up uh, blowing through it like shit through a goose and uh, we, you, you know within two or three years of, of putting several million dollars in their pocket uh, you know they're either on living on skid row uh, a lot more broke than they were before they ever bought the damn ticket or they're in prison a lot of them are in prison or a lot of them are dead have ended up dead so there's this actually this very funny uh, article in the mainstream media who is it from maybe the Daily Beast and uh, I was gonna read it but you can probably find it out there so what they did what this reporter did he uh, combed through all of these uh, riches you know rags to riches back to rags stories about these uh, mega jackpot winners who ended up on Skid Row in prison or dead, uh, you know, after they bought the, their damn lottery ticket, wish to hell they never played the lottery, and it, uh, it really is funny uh, r reading the, the the stories of these clueless fucking morons, and uh, several of them actually did end up getting murdered for their money. Uh, you know, a lot of that uh, has to do with, uh, and, and this is a generalized statement, but you saw it as a recurring theme in these 10 stories that, you know, in people who have never had money, uh, you know, with some trailer trash uh, tweaker, uh, you know, puts a couple of million dollars in their pocket. Uh, that it's, you know, it's not a good combination. A, uh, a trailer trash tweaker and, and a couple of million dollars. Uh, a fool and his money are soon party, as the uh, expression goes. And so, uh, yeah, a couple of them were, uh, were uh, you know, killed for the money. And I guess one of them, uh, the, I, I guess it was the wife or the widow or the ex, whatever she is, 
uh, she killed her husband who won the lottery and then got acquitted and ended up with the money in her fucking pocket. So there you go. Uh, but, uh, you know, just my comment to, uh, you know, at the end of the story is, uh, I said, you know, my heart really bleeds for these clueless morons. It's called thinning of the herd. And uh, I'm, I'm just thinking, uh, you know, the, the $1 million, I, I could live, I, I, I would never have a financial worry again as long as I live uh, if, if I just had $1 million. Uh, what, what is Elon Musk, every day does he make like $3 million or $10 million or $100 million? Him and Jeff Bezos and that, and that whole fucking gang of uh, <coughs> Satan spawn. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking uh, about, about these people getting a million fucking dollars and, uh, and, and ending up in, uh, you know, living on Skid Row a year later. So, uh, I'm sure I've told this story. I'm just gabbing while I'm driving around on this beautiful day. Uh, so, I, I will never be able to know uh, how much uh, money I made on, you know, my initial $15,000 uh, real estate investment in 1997, so 25 years ago when my mother died. Uh, when my mother died, 25 years ago, my payout was $87,000. Uh, $87,000 and I took 15,000 of that, 87,000, uh, I, and bought, uh, I actually bought three pieces of real estate in Florida, but, uh, with, with, uh, 87,000, but it's the 15,000 is the main one. I bought this Bank of America foreclosure for $15,000 in 1997 and I remember my uh, clueless moron brother from Fort Myers who came up and looked at my new purchase and said well Hamon you just uh, pissed $15,000 down a hole and I said I don't think so dude uh, I really don't think so and that was 25 years ago that uh, I picked that place up, and again, there, you know, it, it depends on how you, I, I've never really sat down and really diagrammed this out, but I am guessing that I have made from that $15,000 investment easily a half million dollars. I'm somewhere over the 25 years uh, made bet between a half million and a million dollars, depending on uh, how you know how you slice and dice it. That you, you you know you take that and you flip it, and you take the money from that and you divide it up, and then you know, and it was that original investment that bought a. Uh, mainly that house in Garfield, Texas. Uh, but then there were other real estate spinoffs off to the side, but just sticking to the main channel, you, you know, of that investment, uh, starting at that original 15,000 and buying that place in Garfield and then uh, renting that for 14 years. I mean, that was my main income source for 14 years was the rental income off of that, which kept me, you know, right below the poverty line. Um, and then I sold that uh, place for three times what I bought it for. Then I 
uh, not not counting the other little side deals, you know, from spinoffs along the way. And then, of course, that money is what bought Bugs in a Jar and the place in Florida two years ago. And then I sold the place in Florida. Uh, Hilariously enough, starting out in the same county that this whole thing started, uh, I, I kind of reinvested that original 15, well, it was 18,000 uh, in uh, there. Then, in, in less than two years, more than doubled the money on that. Uh, and now, you know, then I bought another place in Florida. Uh, and then the rest of the money is going into uh, the tiny houses that I'm building to put into the Airbnb and hip camp business, assuming uh, I ever make another dollar off of Airbnb and uh, hip camp. But th so that's what $15,000 It's called self-restraint. Uh, and it's called uh, having a fucking brain and uh, anyway I just cannot stop playing this game and I uh, you know I was just on fucking Zillow I, I make no mistake about it guys I spend every bit as much time on Zillow and realtor.com in New York Land Quest and, uh, and all those than I do on fucking YouTube. Uh, to this day, I spend m more of my time on real estate uh, websites than I do on Doomer websites. Was... You can take the Doomer out of the real estate market, but you just can't take the real estate market out of the Doomer. So, uh, I'm going to head on, God damn it, I forgot to put that uh, ice chest in the back of my truck. My ice cream always melts. I am off. Off to buy some screws. What a surprise. Get out there and get screws while you still can. My guys. <laughs>